Joined now by Taylor Twelman to help frame this. And Taylor, you know my deal when it comes to events like this. I want to give context to our viewers and to myself. Can you possibly oh, describe this to me? Can you explain to me the insanity of Liverpool yesterday and Tottenham today? You're shaking your head, but give me your best shot at it. Well, Scott, let me ask you a question. When Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson, when you saw the kick six uh, with Auburn against Alabama, or when even you watched Aaron Rodgers and those Hail Mary passes, what kind of feeling did you have? Right. That, that, that trumps all of those because of the way you did it. Think of Liverpool against Barcelona. They're missing their two best players. They're going up against arguably the best player we've ever seen in the game, <laughs> Lionel Messi. And in the manner that they pulled it off, I, honestly, Scott, for American sports fans, I don't know how to articulate that. And then today, it happens you again. get a buzzer beater. You never get a buzzer beater. It's extra time. The referees make it up time as he goes. And yet here you are, the last kick of the game, Tottenham wins against Ajax. That's like a 14 seed going all the way to the final. I don't know how to describe it to you. Two best games I've ever seen in my sport, and I've been doing this for quite a while. Right, no, that, and, and that's perfectly said because you've lived this. This has been your life. And so the astounding thing that happened yesterday is matched, if not trumped, a day later to oh. decide who meets in the final. I'm watching this, and I'm astounded, and it has to just leave – you, I'm going to give you a little word from, from, over, uh, from over in England. You're gobsmacked, aren't you? You're gobsmacked. <laughs> yes, you are. 100%. But here's the thing, Scott, that's interesting about yesterday with Liverpool-Barcelona. This is Barcelona. This isn't Liverpool against some team that's going on a run. When you go back to the way Liverpool scored on that corner kick, that was completely pathetic defenseless that was awful from Barcelona and that is arguably the most popular team in the world with the best player our generation's ever seen his team laid a massive egg when they were in the driver's seat for 90 of the 180 minutes as I looked at the poor guys from Ajax face down on the ground I thought to myself oh. is there anything you can say to them that someday it'll be better and I hate to leave it like this the answer is no there's no that's no you never get that back do you Scott, how many times have you inter interviewed ex-athletes on your show and they say you remember the losses 10 times more, yeah. 10 times longer than you remember every the wins? Every single one. Right? And every single one of us do, and that's why I'm a perennial loser. I lost every final I was in. They will always remember that. And some of those players are going on to bigger and better things, whether it's Barcelona, whether it's Real Madrid. They will remember that fateful night where they had Tottenham 3-0 at home and they lost it. They'll never forget that. I'm not going to let you leave here calling yourself a perennial loser. I saw a video on my phone of a little Calcutta out in Palm Springs, and I saw a pretty spicy little <laughs> up and down. I just, I'll leave it there. You're not a loser. You're a winner. You know yeah, why you're well, a winner? Because you're allow myself to yeah. introduce myself, Scott. Yep. You're, you're on this show. You're on this show because you're a winner. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs>